My name's Ethan Kaufman. That's Palon. And over there on the phone is Eric Healy. Uh, we're more farm staff, and this morning we're going to be dividing uh, grasses and transplanting them again. Called Saccharum arundinaceum. Now, some people call it hardy sugarcane because it's the same genus as the commercially grown sugarcane. It really actually likes uh, well drained soils. So you can see how this one on the mound is a lot bigger than the ones down this low lying area. And you can see, if you look at like these plants, these pea grass right here, as you get farther away from the pond where there's less moisture in, in the soil, the grasses do better. So that's one of the main reasons why we're dividing this movement. And these up here are much more, much better. They, they were all planted at the same, same time. Yeah, better drainage up there. And these, this one right here, for example, is the littlest. Right. And those up there are the biggest. So the idea is to get the grass up on a mound. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, our, in our garden, we have a lot of low-lying areas that hold moisture, and this it's just... One of them. This is one, yeah. So it's not a great environment for this grass to grow. So these are the ones going to get split yeah. and mm -hmm. relocated. So now, now you're getting the divisions. Yeah, for something like this, I, I like to use a heavy a steel shovel. It's just great for getting down under the roots, and uh, especially for the chopping, dividing stage, you can, the weight really helps in breaking up the grass. The roots aren't very deep. Nope. I guess that's typical of a grass. Yeah. How much I know. I'm going to try and get some of this soil off the root ball. So now you got two. Now we have two. The thing about grasses, they grow so rapidly that someone might be tempted to say, well, I want a big clump next year. I'll just plant one of these. Well, that is true. It'll be bigger. But by dividing this further, we get several clumps that'll be a little bit smaller, but we'll have so many more of them. And they'll get, they'll get a decent size in one year. How many clumps are you going to get out of that one plant? Um, okay, so you'll get a lot. That's probably good, just like that. You'll get 10 clumps or so out of each one. Yeah. yeah. Grasses are tough. They can take this kind of hacking. Well, we can take these clumps and uh, dunk them in some water. Normally you might use a bucket or something, but we've got a big old pond right behind us. Just to get a lot of water in the roots before planting. So, really anytime you plant anything, you should, uh, before planting, just saturate the root ball. Normally we just drop plants in containers right in a bucket of water, leave them in there for a few minutes. But it's, it's good to get the root ball completely wet. So they're pretty much ready to be planted once you soak the re -soak the roots. Right, after soaking for about 5-10 minutes. Oh, you did actually want to soak them for 5 or 10 minutes. Yeah, then they're ready. Um, you can see all the dirt's gotten off them, so they'll be real easy to, to transplant. And like I said before, it's really good to soak any plant, whether it's a transplant or a plant you just got from the nursery. Once you get the root balls in the ground, sometimes it's harder to get it saturated, so just plop it in. A, we use ditches, ponds, buckets. Make a little hole. <laughs> Make sure to push all the soil firm around it, and then always cut transplants like that back a little more. And then of course, water it in, and that way to get all the air pockets out around it and the soil settle around the plant.